All right, so this, I am Sadistics. I'm not sure if you can see me. We're doing the Dragon of Ice Fire Peak. It's the uh, Essentials Kit. We're kind of doing our own thing. This is Jordan. This is Ryder. This is Maddox. This is Ryan. This Hello. is Colin. And tell everybody what you are, Jordan. You remember? I think you're a high elf. I'm this one. <laughs> All right, tell everybody who you are, Colin. I'm a wood elf rogue. Wood elf rogue? Um, warrior elf. Warrior elf? I'm a mountain dwarf. Okay, and Maddox? I mean, Ryder? I'm a high elf cleric. Cleric. And Jordan, do you remember what you are? I think you are... I decided to do something with mountain. You're a cleric as well. A cleric uh, mountain? I'm a warrior. So I can't remember what you are. Let me look. You are, you're a dwarf cleric. All oh. right. So this is actually our second part of the game. Mm -hmm. The boys have ventured over and rescued a young, young lady already. She gave them all magical potions, and there was a monster they had to fight. That and monster the kid. was the Manticore, and the Manticore, they made a deal that uh, the Manticore wanted to eat a small child that was there. If they would give them the child, then they would let them have the lady. Um, they were going to pay off the Manticore. When they went to go get some money for the Manticore, the Manticore picked up the small child anyways and flew off, and as far as they know, the manticore ate the little boy who was helping them. Then later on, they went and they found some, uh, I don't know how to pronounce this, the ochre jellies. Ochre in, jellies. Inside of a cave, I believe. Yeah, those, those are the things that attacked us. And you just fought all of them and killed them. And some of them creepy. split into half. So here's the manticore, if you can see that. Here's the jellies. And they had to fight a bunch of those. And that was the last quest that they did. The so jellies are not fun. They split in half. That's right. And then they could just get onto you and suck you to death. Okay. Until you so, die. Boom. Where are the quests? And also, in our last quest, in the I got ripped in half. You're still in the cave? Mm -hmm. And plus, we're and still we in the cave. The oh, right. Yeah. There's doing? another healing. What's wrong with that one? Um, I can't remember. Okay, I think you guys were trying to pick which map, what you were going to do next. The Dwarven Excavation. Um, so, we're fighting the White Dragon that you're going to try to get. You're looking for the White the Dragon. The Dwarven Excavation is... Ex... Here, let me... Okay, um... Let me see... Stop with the dice. Uh, okay. Okay, so you had three quests you could pick from Umbridge Hill Quest, Nomagrod Quest, and Dwarven Excavation Quest. Well, Those were your three. Oh, uh, we did mine first. Which one was that? Okay, I'll read them to you. So that one. The local midwife. Uh, the, un the local midwife of Unbridge Hill Quest. So this lady lives by herself in a stone windmill on the side of the hill, oh, yeah, a few miles south of Fendalin, with dragon sightings becoming more common it's not safe for her to be alone yeah that's right and you guys that's rescued right. her and you got the heal potions and then you did i think it was the dwarven excavation and we're still dwarf prospectors found ancient dwarven ruins in the mountains southwest here of here and have been working in an archaeological dig site are seeking treasure and relics they need to be warned that a white dragon has moved into that area take the warning to them and return to the town master harbin wester to collect a 50 gold piece reward. But then there was another one, the Nomograd quest. A clan of reclusive rock gnomes resides in a small network of caves in the mountains to the southeast. The gnomes of Nomograd are known for their magical inventions. They might have something 
with which to de defeat the dragon. Get whatever you can find from them. If you bring it back, if you bring back something useful and don't want to keep it for yourselves, um, the town master uh, Harbin Wester will pay you fifty gold for it. I think that's the one you did because you went in the caves and you fought the the jellies. Jellies. And then we I don't think you've done the the uh, Umbridge Hill quest. No, no, no. I'm sorry. You haven't done the Dwarven Excavation Quest. That's the one you haven't done. We're still on one. Um, the Nomograd? Are we going to the Nomograd? The one with the jars. Oh, we're going to die. We're going to die. Did you complete it, though? Mm. Can we go to the mm -hmm. hotel? Never did. I think you just, you just defeated them, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Defeated the jellies? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm on the way over here. That's right, that's right. Okay, so I think you went into... You went through the canyon. On the canyon floor, they were strewn with rubble um, and vegetation, except for a few rough areas of scraggly weeds. Then you went into the next area, it was the ruined settlement. <coughs> All knowledge of this settlement, including its name, vanished, along with the original inhabitants, who were killed by an avalanche. The rumble that once buried the settlement was, has been hauled away, leaving the outlines of stones and building uh, visible what has collapsed walls. A stone well on the far side of the ruins was filled with rubble. The settlement has been thoroughly ransacked. That means everybody... They, Something came through and took all the gold and weapons that they had. Characters who've searched the ruins find a few crushed dwarven bones and signs of a recent campfire, but nothing of value. Alright, so the next area that you boys go to, I think you went into the uh, E3, which is the courtyard. And there's partially collapsed walls, there's, but they're high walls, and there are holes going into uh, um, the caves, and that's where you got ambushed by the dwarves, I mean by the, um, the jellies. And then you went in through another area, and there were, there were spikes hammered into the floor. Your rice is ready. Can you bring it to me? You want it plain? Uh, no, maybe a little soy sauce or something. Huh? Maybe a little soy sauce. Um. Alright, so now you guys can either decide, you've got four, you're in one big room, this is where you fought the jellies. Now you have to decide, there's four rooms, four doorways. There's one to your left, um, and you hear some echoes and sounds in there. There's one to your right where you hear like dripping water. And then in the, there's two kind of in the front, but they're off. Um, they're off a little bit, and those are a little bit more narrow. Which way would you guys like to go? Narrow. The narrow. I would like to go. You guys have to decide. Conquer. Southeast. Honestly, I don't care either. This, this room that you guys are in, this is where those uh, jellies, they were on the ceiling, they were on different parts of the room, and they came out different doors. I have a question. Are mm -hmm. we going to finish filling out this? Yeah. Yeah, well, um, as you go along, you start filling it in, so you'll, you won't forget what, what things you had. Do you guys figure out which way you're going to go? There's treasure in one of these rooms. Wait, now I do care which way to go. Say what. Say. This so you had a door to your left, and you hear some like echoing sounds. Something maybe in there. I don't, you don't know if it's another jelly. You have two doors that are kind of in front of you, but they're separated. And then you have a door off to your right side. And the door to your right side, um, you hear like dripping water, but it's very dark in there. I say we all split Is up. Is there any behind us? <coughs> um, 
That's where you came from. I say we all split up. What's what do you hear in the front two doors? Um, nothing at all. I say we go into the one that might have something in it. So water dripping. Because if there might have been something in it, that means it might have. I say we all split up because they're just like might one tunnel. be guarding. Guarding it. So I'm which going, one? I'm going to right. Uh, I, I don't care. I'll take left. I'll go with Maddox. I'll go with the letter. So, E, I will say this. E8 is the one that had some weird sounds. E7, you heard nothing. Um, and then there's E6. And E6, you could hear the dripping. E6. E6? Everybody say E6? E6. No. Mm -mm. Me and Colin are going to the left. I say E8. Why don't you all go together? Oh, you can split up if you want. Who wants to go? Are you going to go by yourself or are you going to go with a partner? Who wants to go to E6? E I'm going to go. Alright, so the three of you go to, to this partially collapsed room. An earthquake has collapsed part of this room, which holds nothing of value. Well, that was where the weird sounds are coming from. All right, now who wants to go to E7? E7 were the two rooms that were kind of in front of you. You heard nothing from no, there at all. No, me and Colin are going to the left. The opposite of no. the Okay, so the other E8. Okay, so E8, it's a priest's bedchamber. So you find three stone bed frames stand against the wall. You also still find nothing of value. I know what, it, what it's in. E7. E7. Yeah. So that was E7. the two rooms that were straight ahead of you guys, and you heard nothing at all. We're going, um, two, um, Ryder, Ryan, and Jordan are going to one room, and me and Colin are going so, to the other. I don't feel, I, I don't know why, I just got, I just had this, like. So it makes a U shape. So you can come in either direction. So you can come this way or that way, but they actually meet together. And this is, uh, all right, I'll take it. Oh, can you have my drink? Me and Max will go through the right door of E7, mm -hmm. and they'll go through the left door of E7. Okay. So as you go into E7, you found a secret tunnel. And trapped behind are a couple of secret doors. What do you guys want to do with the doors? Open it! Open them! Knock them down. Let's see what's in it. Alright, so actually. roll your dice and, and see who can knock it down. I want to knock all of them down. I want to freeze them. I want Wait, to freeze can't them. I be the one? I want to freeze them so I'm one of us can just like I'm a warrior. Boom! Boom. Mm, right warrior. There. And healer. I got six. Six. Clear. Yeah, you got six. A clear. You only have nine. Okay, so you knock the door down. It falls down. And out from the shadows jumps another jelly. It comes right at you guys. And he, he gets all sticky and gooey. And he gets on Colin, because Colin's the one that knocked the door, and Colin's the one that was closest, so it starts I'll to get on him. But okay. then you freeze Colin. No, I won't. Okay. I'll freeze Colin. Okay. I got a four. What, what else I need the, I need the dice. I need the dice. Alright. Just get a one, two, or three. Oh, a one. Yes! So, you freeze that jail, and he goes... But Colin's still trapped inside of it. He, it's frozen, but he's on. It. He's in it. It's frozen on top of it. I know him. what I want to do. I want to. I, I, I want to smash it. Like, but then that would break Colin. No, no it won't. Because it's ice, basically now. No. The jelly's no, ice. He's frozen and the ice. Swiss sauce. What was it that killed it? I don't remember. I remember freezing it was important though, wasn't it? No. No, we would have to take it out in the sun. Uh-huh. Yeah. I have to break. Did you roll to see if you hammered it? Oh. One dice. Five. Oh. Five. If he gets a six. Oh, a six. What? <laughs> what happened? Ryder tried to hammer the, um... So you the hammered it, but it just cracked a little bit. And you maybe jumped, knocked off a little piece of it. Wait, Dad, really? Could I break it? Does it duplicate? No, no, Ryan, 
Just rain. Mm -hmm. Just pick the ice off of Colin. Just kind of chisel it off. Yeah. yeah okay. Four. A four? That's oh, right. another four. <laughs> oh, you hit it and it jumped. Can we do a roll off? No. Can Anybody I? Just hit it? Can I go again? Can I go? I'm gonna go. So what I want to do, I want to stop Colin. Uh oh. -uh. No, then, you can't hurt Colin. I'm gonna use when I after I stop Colin, I'm gonna take my knife out and I'm gonna grab the. Then I'm gonna make a hole in it and I'm gonna grab it with my hands. And Jordan, that's a bad spot. idea. It'll have more babies. And the thing has advanced. like 500 babies. And that's all you need. Then I'll advanced. just. Grab no, it, guys, guys, I need a water potion because I hate rain. I'll rip it one by one. Dad, it was water. Oh, yeah. Oh. Jason? Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, Maddie. Then I'm going to gonna punch it to death. Use a wizard so you can use water. <laughs> I think it was also lightning. No, it was water. That's thick. All right, I got a three. Oh, no, it's it's immune to No, you can't the stab Colin. I'm not. I'm it punching it. So it can break. Duh. Why would you do that? So then tell me, then I'm going to freeze it before it gets onto me. No, I couldn't. I'm just going to put water on it. Because that's its All right, we'll do something. All right, so I'm going to... I'm punching it, and I've got three already. I know what to do. Do it. How, wait, who's the biggest guy here? Like, me. who's the strongest? Him. No, in the game. Him. <laughs> no, me, because I'm a warrior. He's frozen in time. I'm, I'm a warrior, too. <clears throat> I'm stronger than you, right? But you're, you're a, a cleric. A I'm a warrior elf. and elf. <laughs> I'm a high elf. Yeah, I'm a high elf, too. Well, somebody hit it. All I have to do is break this thing. Okay, I know what me. to do. I know what to do. I know what to do. Uh, I'll break it. I, I want to take whatever armor... Because, uh, does he have one on? Mm-hmm. The jelly? No. Colin. I have no idea. Colin, do you have it on, Colin? Let me do what I want to do, okay? It froze inside of it. Yeah, you can't do anything. It didn't even come from I the froze actual you. body. Colin, I thought it only froze his shoulder. No, Colin, I I'm... I didn't hit it with... with Colin, I'm sorry, but I practically froze you. I'm just going to Why jump around it? and slam it on walls. I'm going to jump it on... I'm gonna jump around and slam it on walls. But okay. are you? Break the ice. No, break the ice so I can use a water spell Look, on it. Look, that ice right there. Dude, I need that. Dad, but I already rolled before then. Why, why are we losing so much dice? There's like a one dice left. Roll on this one. He got a two. A two? I rolled a five first. Oh, this rolled a two, too. <coughs> but I rolled so you five bounced first. around and you hit it and then you fell over. And you got stuck. You're like a turtle. You're like, help! I'm stuck. I can't move. Your feet are kicking yeah. like this. Could I break and it? You're, you're going, ah! Break the, break the ice. Could so I pulled five my first time. Yeah. No, that wasn't your role. Yeah, I'm going to break this the ice works. so Maddox can do a spell on it. I need to put water on it. Please give me a six. Where are we? Please have nothing. Two. No, that apple is very annoying. It okay. Is. got two. Maddox, you can do something? No, you have to roll now. What were you going to do? Put the dice back, right? I got it too as well. So nothing happened. So uh, I want to... Well, no. Skip Maddox's turn. Oh. I need one of them to break the ice first. Okay, how about you try to break the ice? Wait, why do you not break the ice? Use a lot of spell and make it work. Hold on. No, you make just uh, burn it and then... Why don't you make it? Rain. Why do why don't you make it? I can't go two turns in a row. Why can't you just make it? I'm gonna go right here. Okay. Why can't you just make some? I need one of y'all to break the ice. Did you just go? And then no, melt, no. make it melt. Did you go? No, right Rider. Then Max should go. go. He doesn't want to go. He's skipping. Go. Uh, I want to. How much exactly did this cover of him? I don't know. Seventy-five percent. Seventy-five percent. So right, I want 
You can try. A one. A one? Oh, That's man. an automatic miss. Yeah. Alright, Jordan, try to get it off of Colin. Okay, now we're gonna do a back leap where he tried to get off. It just cut down, just stab it, do what the I skirt did. and the circle. He's gonna and try to do what I did. Kick it off! Or okay. It would break Jordan's And then make it full on Maddox. No. Yeah. Yeah. Like ice cutters. Five or six. Four. <laughs> All right, so you carefully chisel out Colin and slip him out of the goo, the jelly. And you pull him out, <clears throat> and there's a perfect little Colin sized um, elf. You gotta be on the floor so the camera can see you. A perfect Colin sized um, hole inside the jelly, and you guys just leave him there. You leave the jelly there frozen. All right, so now <coughs> you get to keep on going. Can we open and you see one of the other secret doors? There is another secret door. You're already in the secret door. You opened it up. Yeah. So it opens up into two rooms. You have a room on your left and a room on your right. I'm going right. <laughs> I'm going left. But there also might be a small little entrance in front of you guys. I go in, I go in front. Wait, why? I'm probably the only Because one. Oh, well, nah, I don't take the most hits. Clerks don't take that much hits. I'm, I'm gonna do a. Lauren, can you stop? Clerks, which way do you want to go? You you just got out. No, that's not exactly what I do. That's what I'm gonna go. All I'm gonna do is go on to the right. I'll go on my belly, then cross the roadway. All right, Ryan, which way did you go? Right. Uh, and right. I have which way did you go? Left. Left and. Maddox, or Ryder, which way did you go? Straight. And Jordan, which way did you go? Left. Left? Okay. So, the guys who went to the right, raise your hand. Uh. Hey, get closer to the thing. Excuse me, video. Um, you found it. You two have found a half, um, it's half buried in the rubble here, and there's a skeleton of a dwarf. Half. A dwarf priest wearing a rotted red leather armor. The dwarf was killed when part of the room collapsed, so he's got rocks that fell on top of him and, and crushed him. Maybe his bones are valuable. But you also see around the skeleton's neck hangs a holy symbol of Abathar, a tiny jeweled dagger on the silver chain. The symbol is inscribed with dwarvish ruins that translate to greed is good. This is also worth some money. I'm gonna take it. Alright. So. Colin, don't take it, don't take it, don't take it. It and might it's collapse also the whole building. A, it's a, also a dagger. So, Ryder, the room you went to? Straight. You went straight ahead. There was a small little door, you just barely fit in there. And you squeezed in. Um, this is called the Hall of, of Greed. To reach this room, the um, you you cleared out a some rubble Stop. that sealed it off, and only you could go in there. It's just big enough for you, but it also took you forty hours to get all the way through. So you were in there for almost two days. It took you that long to get in. Now, if the other guys help you, they might be able to re reduce that time. Um. Now, when you get in there, the south wall holds the rubble of a of a shattered statue. That's what you see. A shattered statue? Mm-hmm. I can't. Um, the I can't, shadow or the statue has dwarven horns on top of it. I can't pay attention to anything because he is uh, being annoying. Hey, yeah, go clean that up. Um, there's dwarven horns on this statue which uh, stares greedily 
it's kind of got your attention and you're just staring at it and it's glowing with green gems in its hand if the, if the so that's what you're looking at you're looking at the statue it's got dwarven horns and it's got it's got its hands out like this and inside of it are green gems. Why are we looking for that thing right there? It's kind of creepy. It could be a trap rider. Just, can I check to see if I can pull one of the fingers so there's another secret door? You can do what? Pull some of the fingers to see if there's another secret door. I'm done. How much does that necklace cost? Um, 50 gold pieces. Mm -hmm. You want to check and see what, Ryder? Uh, if there's any other hidden doors. You look around. You see nothing else here except for that statue in the corner. It has a green gem and it's glowing. Take it. It looks very valuable. How heavy is it? You don't know. It's in the hand of the statue. But it does look like what you're there for. It's it's a lot of gold. Now you could, well, I don't want to give you ideas, but, but you don't know what's in the other rooms. Let's put it that way. Wait, can me and Jordan go you in? You can our always room? holler to each other. Can me and Jordan go in our room yet? Would it the sound waves take a day to get through? Oh, well, all right. Fast. So I'll tell you what Jordan and, and Maddox found because they went in the room at the exact same time the other room. In that room, they found an empty stone. Um, it, it juts out from the southwest wall. There's a stone wardrobe against the east walls. Holds the rotted remains of two suits of leather, of red leather armor. Can you sell that? Now they're ruined and worthless. So really the only thing of value right now Oops, would be the uh, necklace. Mm hmm. The green mm -hmm. gems. And the necklace. necklace. Okay. Okay. How much green gems are there? Two. I don't. I, 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 I want to find a rock that's <laughs> about the same size of, as the gem and make it the shape of the gem. And then switch them out. Switch them out really quickly. Mm, like in Yeah. In Boss Baby. Okay. Alright, roll. Six. Six. <clears throat> One. Alright. So you take a, a rock that's in the other side of the room and you switch it out real carefully. <clears throat> right as you switch it though. The thing goes tick, 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 and it's about to explode. But because you put that on there, you were able to get away. You got to the other side of the room, and it blows up. <clears throat> but you got the gym in hand, and you didn't take any damage because you put that rock there. Very smart thinking. <clears throat> that was pretty clever. <gasps> Doesn't that make the hole bigger? Um, no. Could we get some miners to come and mine in there Wait, could I us? Could I yell to Ryder what happened? How much is the gym worth? All right. So, you guys all probably want to leave that area and go back. I think there were two dwarves that you guys talked wait, to. Wait, right? wait, wait. Can we all mm -hmm. come out? Can we all come out of the rooms? And I want to meet up with Colin. And I'm going to free them. And I'm going to take the necklace from them. Don't do that. And then. Unfortunately, oh, I didn't I tell you this part. Even though you took the gym, it turned to dust in your hand. Oh. Yep. Was it valuable? Um, but if you if you hadn't rolled that good, you actually would have taken a lot of damage. You would have, like lost a lot of damage. So it's good you did that. Hey, it's better than nothing. I'm using this next. Okay, so. <clears throat> <laughs> the two dwarves come running after you guys. Though I, I can't remember who they were now. It's been a while since we played that. But they come in like, help, help, help. 
We're being attacked. By who? They're orcs. And they're really mean. Now we're gonna go kick their butt. They just came inside. <gasps> oh, really? Are they in big groups? You should call Ryder. You should see what they look like? <gasps> Ryder! What? You took the gym! So, that's so summoned alarm them. Alarm them. That summoned them. So, the dwarves tell you, look, be careful. We think that these orcs, they're they're coming here to find a new place to live. Here's what they look like. They're Ugh. big. Oh. And there's five of them. They are exactly like me, but I'm bigger and stronger. There you go. There's five of these guys. All right. So you, <clears throat> these are savage raiders with unmatched lust for carnage. They worship an evil god, the mightiest of Grum Grumish. Um, the, oh, that's one of the, the guy's names. His name is Grumish. Excuse While they me, regard dad. dwarves as neutral enemies, orcs hate... What are you doing? Stop. No. Go sit. <clears throat> While they regard the dwarves as neutral enemies, orcs hate elves above all. They enjoy oh, yeah. slaughtering elves. But they have they have equipment with them. It looks like they are unpacking, like they want to live in this area. Oh no. But there's five of them. So they're I'm at doing. the front and they don't know you guys are there yet. I know what I'm doing. I do too. Since I'm small. Can I go hide in a <laughs> corner and draw my bow and wait till they come down? Yep. Should so, we, like, set up a you trap? guys are deep inside this cave, so what you're going to do, you're heading out, and the orcs are building their little camp right here. I, I, uh, I they are, the boys are here, they're going to come out, and the orcs are building a camp right in this spot. Wait, where are you I didn't see. There's ruins and stuff, old buildings that have been knocked down, there's stone walls that you can hide behind if you need to. <laughs> Alright, go ahead. So you guys have positioned yourselves in little hiding spots behind the uh, the stone walls, and the orcs at the moment do not know that you're there. You may want Jordan for this one. Why? Because there's five of them and there's five of you. No, wait, there's a... S five yeah, five and five. Wait, do they have anything valuable? I don't know. Maybe they're raiders. But they don't like elves at all. They hate you guys. Hmm. All right, I want to I want to go hide with Colin. Wait, no, you don't need to hide. Yeah, you can go make a truce with them. Yeah, I can. Yes, and you can say we're prisoners, and you're going to bring us to Orc Kingdom. <laughs> no, we're go we're gonna bring them to a volcano. To custody. Go to a volcano. All right. No, into cool. their custody because they are fully. Done. Does somebody you're a dwarf part too, aren't you? Or you're an elf? Yeah. Trip him. I'm an elf. He's a dwarf. Max is a dwarf. You what? Dwarf. Does any Does anybody have a harpoon gun to trip him? So you're gonna go up there and go talk to him? Yeah. Uh, I have a crossbow. Right. So, are you walking up to him right now? Yeah. All right. <laughs> so the orcs are laying down their stuff. <laughs> they also dropped some dead bodies of some deer that they've just killed. Ooh. And one of them's setting up a fire. And he's about to cook up these deer. And they look and they see you coming out of the cave. And they, uh, uh, and they point at you. And they're like, Whoa, what is this guy? And they're like, they kind of get mad. And one of them kind of growls at you like, uh, and he kind of like points for you to leave. <coughs> No, don't do that. Then you won't be able to do five. All right. Oh my gosh. Three. So you freeze the floor. The, all 
all the orcs get up and they get mad. Because you just made their fire go out. And, and it also freezes their deer. And they get really, really mad about that <laughs> one. So, so one of them picks up his axe. And it's just one of them. And he's mad. And he's trying to get you to leave. And he swings at you. He hits a three. What do you roll? A one hit. Six. Oh, so you dodged it. And he goes, whoosh, and it hits the wall. And he gets really mad. And they really growl at you. They all pick up their axes. Do, 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 Dad, do, do. Can, I, um, can I call uh, for Colin? Yep. Well, you don't have to roll. Well, uh, you don't have to roll to call okay. for Colin. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to come up Colin. like on a little corner. And I'm going to use my bow and arrow. And I'm going to aim at one of their heads. And I'm hiding behind the corner, just kind of peeking my head out and pulling my bow. All right. Aim at the roll. shoot. I'm at the one that's about hey, to... Hey, who's the who dice that was in here? Here. Stop taking the nuts. Ryder has a dice. Five. <clears throat> Alright, since you guys already startled him and then let him know that you're there, he saw you coming. But, when you shot your arrow, you still hit him because your aim was so good. You chink and hit him right in the head and he died. <clears throat> All the orcs get really, really mad that their friend just got killed. I'm sure they were actually friends. Yeah, I'm sure one of them was about to I know what I want. I, I, I know what I want. Mm. Right, I think it's Colin or George Ryan's turn now. Well, it was just Maddox's turn. Well, he called out for Colin. So you skip my turn? I guess so. We'll come back to you. We'll skip Maddox. Ha! No! Yes! <laughs> okay, so uh, I want to go and just do my thing. Slice both of the two. No, how two many heads are left? left. Four? No, um, yeah, there's four. I shot one in the forehead. But aren't four. they slipping? Because um, I'm the only one that's on the ice besides the orcs. I guess so. Three. Three? Three. Oh. A one. So what did you want to do again? Uh, slash out both of, the, both of their heads off. So maybe you well, only rolled a three, so yeah, you hit one and you cut his head off, and he went. <laughs> so the happened. other one got really mad, and he takes a swing at you with his big old battle axe. What'd you block roll? it, block it, block it, block it, and then slice his head off. Six. 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 What'd you get? Thank you. All right, so you blocked it. Hey, Colin, we can't see you at all. You want to take Jordan's spot? Mm -mm. And Ryan, we can barely see you. All right, so you blocked it, and then you countered and parried, and you went and chopped his head off. <gasps> so that right. leaves two one. left. Wait, yeah, two. I know There's two I left. What are you going to do, Ryder? Uh, well, this is a lucky dice, okay? Everybody use this dice. This is a lucky dice too. Okay. Uh. Well. Go five. Oh, you got crit cool. Crit cool. That was the one. Well, can I? Just use your staff and attack him. I don't have a staff. You can make a staff with some magic if you roll good enough. I'll make you a staff. Ooh, I know what I want to do. Are they lined up perfectly? You're gonna just like. No, they're they're walk they're coming towards you. They are going slow because they've got the ice. One's picking up his axe and he's about to chop you with it. You could use like a like an ice thing and just like shoot it at them. I want to. Well. Right. Create create an ice dagger and then just like throw it at one of their. Right. We like, can't see it. you. You like uh, a sword out of magic, or uh, a you can make a dagger. You could like make a dagger pier and like 
Totally out of space. Yeah, I, that's not what I'm saying. I want to make a dagger go into my hand. I want to front flip over one of them, but while I'm front flipping over their head, I want to stab them in the head, and I want to get my dagger and throw it at the other guy's eye. Okay. Or so both. roll. So that's an automatic miss. You did nothing. You you tried to make the dagger, but you did it while you did a flip in the air, <coughs> but it didn't form. So when you threw it at him, it just dissolved and went boop and like it hit it was like dust that hit him in the face. You made him really angry. Do I dust one of So both of them the come and one of them tries to grab you while the other one's trying to chop you. Let's see what happens. <coughs> Alright, now you roll. Two. Two? Oh, so one of them grabbed you up and he what held you. you. Four. Oh. So he grabbed you up and he's holding you. And you can't move, so you can't even use your arms. Now the other one's going to take the swing at you. All right, roll again. Four. Four. So he takes a swing, but he, you kind of wiggle and move, and he misses. Oh, oh doesn't he hit like the other one? No. Oh. Right. Okay. You, Colin. Okay. Hey, what about me? Uh, well, you, so we're we just always you. going this way. Because I was the first. You one. got a turn. You got the very first turn. So we'll have to come no, back to you. He's got the third turn. I was the first person. All right, go, Colin. Okay, so I'm just gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna peek around the corner, Stop do the arrow, and shoot. All right. Shoot the one that is holding me. Huh? Shoot the one that's holding me. Sure. Because he's. Better not shoot Ryder. Oh, four. four. So, yeah, you hit the one who's holding him. It hit, it hits him right in the eye. But it didn't kill him. He stayed alive. He's But he's blinded in one eye. He's crying like a little baby. And now he's going to squeeze Ryder really hard. And now roll Ryder. See what happens to you. Oh, my gosh. You know what? I'm not going to lose that. I'm not going to lose that. Six. Six. Oh. So even though he squeezes hard, you push back and you <coughs> you say a spell and you get stronger and you what kind of bust like out of his arms. No, yeah, it was just a spell. You got stronger than he was and you broke broke through his grip and got out of his arms. I know what happened. All right, now it's Ryan's turn. Wait, what? I guess we're gonna skip Ryan. So go go Maddox. Yay! All right, hey, you know what I'm gonna do? What? I'm gonna take. Big giant fireball, like two times the size of their faces. I'm just gonna bang, um, bang it in one of their heads so they'll die. Okay. That's just a candle. Five. Oh, so you hit him right in the head. You fire. hit him so hard, his head just burst into flames. I feel and he I caught on fire, and then it moved all the way down his body, and he just turned into. Barbecue orc and falls down and just keeps burning. I it, know what the I room mean. smells with this nasty, nasty barbecue flesh <laughs> smell. It's not nice. It smells like rotting, rotting ogre, rot, rotten ogre meat, Mark, orc okay. meat. Do okay. I since I'm still big, uh, I want to do a combo on that guy. Okay. It's only one left. Yep, yeah, just one left. So he's in front of me. So I want to knee him in the balls and then elbow him across the face, take the arrow out, and just stab him constantly in the throat. Alright, give two dice since you're wanting to do a combo. Let me have one too. So roll one <coughs> for one of them first. Which one are you going to do? Uh, the combo. Which part of the combo? So Neem in the balls. All right, roll for Neem in the balls. Two. Four. You miss. His balls are so strong. You <laughs> kick him right in the balls, and he goes, <laughs> and it hurts your leg. You're like, like, oh, cables. my foot. Oh, oh. No, not cables. Uh, All right, now do for your second one. Uh, stab him constantly. Okay. Face with the arrow that, that was in his eyeball. Roll for it. Two. Ah, oh, two as well, so nothing happened. You missed. All right, Colin. You know what I'm gonna do? Hmm. I should have never changed it, guys. Tell me. Uh, 
Come on. I'm gonna scoop pour a little bit. I'm going to like just like pull out one of my arrows and run at him and stab him right in the butt so then he bends down and is like, oh and I'm gonna come up to the front and stab him in the back of the neck. Alright, you're gonna need two dice. So you do the first one first? Uh the one where I like stab him in the butt. Okay, what did okay. I miss? A lot. Also our green dabs are here. Oh, so what was it? So stabbing him in the butt? Yeah. <laughs> so you stabbed him right in the butt cheek. He goes, He gets really angry. And he turns Wait, around actually, and he looks are, at you. Are ours actually here? All right, roll. Yes. Okay. <gasps> cool. And what was the second part? Stab him in the neck with an arrow. So you stab That's him. Cool. You go right to his neck, but he catches it. And he breaks the arrow. Snap! Colin! <clears throat> yeah, why don't you clean up your mess there? It would help. Clean up all that trash. So you did not get him with that critical. It missed. Wait, what did you get? It's critical. Wait, did we I? We both got a critical. Did I at least elbow him in the back of the neck hole? So is he dead? He's only got. He's been stabbed in the booty. Uh, all right, Ryan. And the eye. My turn. Okay. So you can barely see. Stab him in the other eye. No, remember I took the arrow. Oh yeah, he does eye. have an arrow in his eye. I yeah. took it out. No, you didn't. Dad, you weren't able to complete that combo. Can I cut or no, uh, nothing happened? Could Could I, I dagger him with that? the side of my battle axe? Try roll. To Chop interrogate him. <coughs> I don't think he's gonna be interrogated. Okay. Alright, so nice. you take a swing at him. And he grabs it, and he pulls your, your axe out of your hands. And then he swings back. Roll. What did you get? Roll. Let me see. You don't get to see. You'll find out what happens in the story. Okay. Was that a one? So he takes a big swipe and hits you right in your chest. Hey, well, it's a good thing you I take a lot of damage, around. and you start bleeding really bad. <coughs> oh, yeah. He was this. All right. Wait, 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 wait. So you drink your health potion and regain uh, all your health back. Can I attack back? There's no one to just kill me. All right. This is a horrible. Time to end it. Okay. I'm gonna take a. I'm gonna take a big. Take that dice out. Huh? All right. So I'm gonna make a. Um. I'm gonna like make a big ice axe, and then I'm gonna make a big. Ice axe. Now I'm just gonna chop off his head. I don't think you can make an ice axe. Oh. That's what the mm -hmm. cleric can do. Only you, can, Second. you can do lightning bolts. You can do fire bolts. Do me do mm -hmm. a lightning bolt to the head. You can do like yeah. magical shock explosions. Em. You should shock him. Yeah, shock him to death. <gasps> like the Taze Empire it. does. Can mm -hmm. Colin be yeah, in this the combo? Emperor? No, he doesn't have any magic. Oh. I know, but. I know, but I want you. I wanted to like. I wanted him to like shoot a um, bow and arrow, and then I put like a, like a potion on it, and then it gets him in the head, and then he dies. What? A potion? Where are you gonna get a potion? You don't have any potions. Well, I'm gonna like cast a spell on it while it's moving, and then. You only. You don't do. You don't cast spells like that. Your spells are like fire, oh. ice. Just um, electrocute him. Shock him today. Or like a big explosion. You can cast in a big explosion. Water, earth, fire, air. No, or you could put him in a tornado. Just shock him today. Yes, just shock him. Alright, I'm gonna make a lightning bolt come on his head. Okay. Come on his head. Six. Six. Oh. <clears throat> so, big cloud builds up above him. And you hear this thunder crack. And it goes. Yeah. <laughs> And this, the biggest lightning bolt you boys have ever seen comes down and goes <laughs> and hits him right in the head. And he pops like a hot dog in the microwave. And, just goes <laughs> and now it really smells like cooked um, Jimmy Thomas? inside can we this loot little stuff? area. Yeah, can we loot them? Yep, you guys look around and you see some campfire stuff. You see the deer, the dead Told deer. You, to use that dice. you see... Um, They've got things for tents. Um, we should take that. They have things to build campfires. We should take that too. You can take it as much as you want. So you can make your own campfire anywhere you want. 
I'm gonna take all um, the. You can make a tent if you ever need to. Okay. Uh, oh, I'll get the tent stuff. Okay. The what tent and the campfire. Good idea. So here, here's the things that you guys can take. <coughs> There's stuff to make shelter, so tents. There's stuff to make a campfire. There's stuff to, um, um, there's like some pots and pans so you can cook your own food. Um, Wait, you should have those. You see some like little uh, hunting knives, not I really for killing, but for like cutting the skin I off of the deer. I want those. Yeah, right down. Wait, what? So, I need a... Stuff for campfire. Okay, so, I want to take, I want to take, um... You can make a tent. I want to take the deer. I want to take. I want to take the deer because. You can take the um, deer. Okay, take the deer. Because I want to unfreeze food. them, and because it's better if they're frozen. Because um, they, because like right after you kill a deer, you need to like. And you see like a, you see a little thing where you can make your own campfire. It's called like a flint. So you flick it, and it'll flint start deal. a little. It'll make a little fire. So I get like. Yeah, where everybody? Deer. You don't need that though. All right, so that's the end of the Dwarven Excavation. We will pause this and continue on later.